So good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Matt Kowalski. I am going to provide you some reflections on our clinical center uh, and the growth that we've had over the last 20 years. I'll always remember the day that Dr. Eisenberg called me back in around 2001 and called my office and invited me to participate in a seemingly impossible uh, vision to create an integrative care clinic within an academic medical center. Two years later, he convened a group of about 20 clinicians of diverse clinical backgrounds, medical doctors, and those of us considered alternative practitioners. We were commissioned to educate each other to create a patient-centered model of integrative care. I recall Dr. Eisenberg describing such care as being able to see the patient through the eyes of another practitioner. Over the course of about a dozen weeks, we delivered presentations on our professions, on how we care for our patients. We provided opportunities for others to experience uh, our skills, and we shared live patient interactions in front of and with the group. This was, this was also a time that we were introduced to our medical director, Dr. Donald Levy, a man whose captivating introduction set us on a mission to not only provide relief of pain and disease, but to acknowledge the difference between pain and suffering. He united us with a mission to ask, <clears throat> to, to always work to relieve our patient's suffering. Our mission resonates with the words of Dr. William Osler, to cure sometimes, to relieve often, and to comfort always. Dr. Levy has led with his heart, embraced us all, and united our, our clinic staff into our own Osher family. He's been a brilliant educator, skillful delegate, and dear friend. I often refer, refer to Don as the glue or the connective tissue that holds the Osher Clinical Center together. Our clinic was introduced to us as a potential research incubator, an opportunity to answer important questions about the care we deliver through investigations at a, <clears throat> at a level of expertise never previously imagined by our individual professions. Under the outstanding leadership of, the, of our Harvard Medical School research affiliates, Peter, Gloria, Catherine, Helen, and Julie, we began meaningful investigations as soon as our doors opened. I'm humbled by the ongoing and impressive products of our collective work that is focused on continually improving our patient care and better understanding the physiology of our skills. The clinic has also become a resource for precious cross-professional education through workshops, lectures, and shadowing experiences. Thank you to Darshan for continually to work close with the to, to bridge the educational ch uh, chasm between medical training and the integrative medical professions. This wonderful clinical map that you've seen the, the draws connection, the, the draws connections between, between our institutions was Dr. Langevin's vision and it all began for us as a single clinic back in 2007 at 850 Boylston Street. When our doors opened, our clinic was initially recognized as a group of alternative therapists. This article in the Boston Globe magazine catapulted us into a local healthcare limelight. The patients who selected us often, were often not relieved by their, of their conditions through conventional healthcare and were seeking new hope. Others expressed their enthusiasm over the validation of many services being offered in such a respected institution. We were then and continue to serve as a haven of hope to provide comfort, relieve suffering, and even offer new cures. This mission resonates so deeply with our staff that at least half of the clinicians remain together 20 years later. Most of those who have left remain part of our remote team and are represented on our clinical map. We've rallied around the care of people suffering from common impactful concerns, such as spinal pain, migraine headaches, stress management, healthy aging, among many others. Relieving the pain and disability of migraine has served as a perfect example of how we can develop a full spectrum of patient care, including in-house workshops, participation in national forums, organized team collaborations, and frequent hallway updates. As a chiropractor, I'm proud to say that Mass General Brigham System is the only Boston healthcare institution offering a full spectrum of conventional and integrative services for patients with spinal pain. Not only have we been connected by proximity, but also by an EMR that has uniquely included all OSHA Clinical Central clinicians. 
Now the notes of an acupuncturist, massage therapist, chiropractor, and others are integrated into the patient's care record. This was part of Dr. Eisenberg's vision. We are also fortunate to have the support of our affiliated health insurance company, Always, partners, uh, Always Health Partners, who offers a robust acupuncture and chiropractic benefit to its insured. I would love to see the day that our clinical outcomes and research supports the addition of other services, such as cranial sacral therapy, therapeutic massage, and movement-based therapies. Our diverse panel of in-house and community providers continues to grow and populate our clinical map. Our clinicians' practices are impressive, impressively productive, and we continue to seek qualified talent to join our team and expand our services. We are blessed to have administrative staff that also embodies our mission. Katie Keogh, Holly Gouvermont, Martha Gabber Christos, thank you for your service above self. Within our clinic walls and through our clinic without walls, strategic co-locators and collaborators make possible priceless partnerships to best serve our patients. Looking forward, I'm truly excited. We have two research, two clinical research grants pending, uh, pending funding. The first is a national multi-site collaboration with the VA Medical Center that will investigate integrative care for relief of migraine headaches. We are excited for the potential opportunity to serve the veterans who so valiantly serve our country. Also, we're pursuing ways to care for our own caregivers and are optimistically awaiting funding for a study that focuses on relieving nurses of neck pain through a novel integrative care approach. As we train the next generation of clinician researchers, I'm thrilled that the NCMIC Corporation has supported the first chiropractic research fellow to train shoulder to shoulder with the, with the OCIM T32 fellows. I hope that this inspires support for other integrative practitioners in their research and educational initiatives. The OSHA Clinical Center may have begun as an alternative, but have become part of the parenchyma of our world-class academic medical centers. A new chapter is opening the OSHA Clinical Center. As Dr. Don Levy steps down as medical director, we are grateful that he will remain on as an invaluable part of our clinical staff. I'm confident that we will select a successor who embodies his unifying, motivating, and caring spirit and his passion for integrative care. I thank you for all, the, all for this opportunity, not just to provide this clinical status report, clinic status report, but for this amazing opportunity to best serve our patients, our professions, and our growing team of clinicians. 